Well, <laughs> well, everything's so new to me. <laughs> First time in my life to start a tour at midnight. <laughs> midnight. <laughs> okay, I've got my pillow. <laughs> um, it's just coming up on 12 o'clock and we've been awakened. We were awakened at 11, it's 12 midnight, and we're just leaving the hotel at Borg El Arab for a six to eight hour bus ride to the um, eclipse site. This is uh, caused apparently by lots of uh, security issues. Um, apparently President Mubarak is coming today and that's, uh, they've redoubled their security efforts. So we're looking forward to uh, hoping we get to the eclipse site before the eclipse. The tradition in Egypt is to put a necklace around someone, you're married to him. You know, they were talking about uh, heat, heat prostration. It's more like hypothermia. As soon as the sun gets bright enough, we still don't have a good shadow. Nice crisp shadows. <laughs> And we can show, as the moon orbits the Earth, okay, the moon orbits the Earth like that, then we have to get the moon, the Earth, and the sun all lined up, and you'll see the nice little shadow against the Earth and why we have solar eclipses, okay? That's uh, not a very impressive camera no, compared to some impressive. of them here. No, my good stuff's over there. <laughs> my big butt is what you've got. I've seen one other total eclipse in Romania, and I saw an annular eclipse in Tunisia. So, what do you think? Oh, they're awesome. They're really exciting. Like after you see one, you just have to see another one. I guess the next one's in 2008. Make your plans now. Okay. Yeah, if I photograph, the complete you get 360 minus with the camera. I call it a Shiloh cam. <laughs> for lack of a better name. Um, the idea occurred to me back in uh, 91 at uh, the, the big one and uh, somebody else had a video camera and they were, since we had so much time, they were doing little swirlings around and the horizon was so fascinating to me, uh, the 360 degree sunset how quickly everything got dark and how quickly everything got bright again that I've sort of over the years developed this um, camera or cameras uh, so that 
I have six video cameras running with wide angle lenses at 60 degrees. And then I capture the shadow coming and going and the effects on the horizon since everybody else is taking pictures up in the sky. I, I, I want to be a little different, so I take pictures of what's going on on the landscape, which I think is a lot more fascinating. Do you project them in 360 degrees to view them? Well, to do that, you technically have to go to the, the TV store and ask them nicely if they can let you engage six of their televisions and put the tapes in and let them run and that, that gives you the 360. But I just take bits and pieces from each camera. I haven't figured out how to spread it out, but that I can work out. It's capturing it that's uh, the difficult part. Tanto si ritorna. Senti, Lore, mi ha raggettato da fare lo scatto. We got Venus now, can we get Mercury somewhere? It should be right in between. <laughs> yeah, can't quite get that. That's right, very clear. Oh, it's getting close, it's getting close. It's 12.35. Darkness is coming. Oh, feel it, feel it, yeah. feel it. Oh, wow. Feel it. Oh, look at it, all, all the way over there. Feel it come. Feel it come. Look at, look at, there's another darkness. Here it comes. Here comes the shadow of the moon. Oh! You see it coming, John? I can see the shadow of the moon coming, yeah. Where? Across the whole horizon over there. Off toward Libya. Yeah, right over there. Right over there. Here it comes, here it comes. This is it. The twilight's coming. Twilight, yeah. <laughs> here it comes. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, my. <laughs> Tell me when, because I'm going to put my camera right on it. Those solar flares, wow. 
Take your good looks while you can. Yeah, we'll start off with Bailey's beads and there a couple of them. Oh, there's a flare at 4 o'clock. Look at the red. I didn't get it very good. That's a solar eclipse. Look at all the lights of the city came yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. See, the camels will get up now. All right. I got a Corona. <laughs> yeah, that, that was just incredibly awesome. And what surprised me was not so much the totality, but how dark it got. And the temperature drop was just breathtaking. And you hear these things, but you have to feel them. You have to see them, experience them. So, oh yeah, I want to do it again. I, I'd be very willing to become an eclipse chaser. <laughs> and I just might. This eclipse is one of the best. You can see those streamers going east-west. The big arc of prominence is as the moon was uncovering the sun. It was dark everywhere except around the edges of the horizon. Venus visible to the west, Mercury visible somewhere. I think that uh, this, was, this was one of the good ones. This one will be remembered as one of the good ones, at least until the next better one. What are we watching? Skyline. And I saw Venus and Mercury. It was really hard to see. Yeah. When I did, I did. Just for a second. Wow. <laughs>